Sup, nerds? <laughs> Alright, so today I'm going to be showing all of you who suckers how to run Rosalind. The spy mission on Uranus in Warframe. Now, usually you'd have to ma usually I'd have to do multiple runs for this because there are crap ton of different vaults. Thing is, Uranus Uranus only has three vaults, so I can just show y'all how to do it all in one run. So you get dropped in, surrounded by a bunch of loot containers. It's up to you what you do with them. I'm here for the, you know, the loot. Sodding Iatans. There we go. Now I'm not going to have much to commentate for a lot of this, because is there are only three vaults and this is not an extremely short mission, to put it frankly. So... Get him. Just checking around for Cephalon fragments because I need one more before I can leave this planet forever. Cephalon fragment soon. If I hadn't already done the Nata quest, then I would go out and look for the thingers that that sound means spawned. Because scanning one of them is how you start Nata. The quest. Something I noticed. These dudes look identical to Sat-6 fugitives. And I have no clue if that's intentional or not. It probably wasn't, knowing the de- They scanned me. How rude. He scanned my dog! The villain. So we've just got to finagle our way over here. Alright, so here's the first vault. I guess you could call it the pipe vault. Opens with a long drop. That's how you know that's a pipe vault, plus the window at the start. Now I'm going to use my trickery to cloak here, just in case there's a regulator. Because the real threat here are the regulators. Now there's a couple ways that you can do this vault. My personal favorite is like so. You go into Arcwing to get under the water, to go under and around here. Jump up once to trigger that thing. And you'll notice that the barrier there is only on the right side. And the barrier there is only on the left side. So you jump up on the left on the first one, then get over to the right to pass the second one. Then you've got to get in the center of the wall to pass the final one. You'll notice there's a barrier there, but that these are glowing. You shoot out both of them, shoot out the top vent, get out, kill anyone who happens to be topside, And that's it. That's Vault A. That's the pipe vault. How to do it. 
An alternative method is like so. <coughs> Back to the entrance. Let me just kill some regulators if I can. There we go. To the left of the entrance behind this rock, you'll see reinforced glass. Shoot it out to flood the, the lower level of the vault. That was the sound of the regulators popping. Then over here in this recess, more glass. This is why I call it the pipe vault. Because it's got those pipes. That floods another part of the vault. I'm not going to explain what I just did because that'd be spoiling War Within. And finally you get to here. Shoot those two out. Get your way up. And now boom, you can just arc way. You can just swim up to the top alternatively in case you don't want to in case you can't figure out the lasers down there, which I couldn't for a while. That's how I take care of the pipe vault as I've dubbed it. I don't actually know which vault we'll be going to next. I don't know wh because they're it's random which vault is which, so B might be either... So vault B might be either of the other two vault layouts that there are here. Pro tip, um, if you're going to Uranus, pack armor piercers. Because Drakars are stupidly armored. Sincerest apologies if my keyboard tapping is too loud. I tried to turn it down at the start of this one, as the recording test showed that it was a bit too loud. Scan him. I can be bothered to, I'm probably going to put timestamps in the description for each vault so that y'all can just pop on and get to them easier. Because, you know, someone's probably going to click this video and be annoyed that it starts with me just talking. Because, you know, they want to know how to get through the vaults, and I can respect that. I've dealt with that issue before. So I'm going to see if I can timestamp it in the description. That's a Soma Chord Tone. They're kind of like Cephalon Fragments. Kind of. <laughs> uh, explaining what exactly they, they are is a bit spoilerish, but they basically let you play the soundtrack in your orbiter. I do hope OBS isn't having troubles with this. It seems to be doing fine. And I'm glad for that, to be honest, because I've dealt with a good deal of crap that OBS just hates. I can't even use OBS to record Lords of the Realm 2. Okay, this is what I call the Fan Vault. It's recognizable because of the long cylindrical tube that you can see from the console entrance. So you hack that console, which lowers these. 
I always go left. No real difference that I've found, but I just like going left. There's a fan in there that blows you along. You shoot out the four corners, like so, with your arc gun. <coughs> Pretty much every corridor here has those fans, so it's advantageous to bring Odonata just so that you can use Seeking Fire to hit the recessed ones like I just did. That's not a path we need to go down, but I'm going to shoot, shoot at its fan because it'll make it convenient later. Now if you touch that orange barrier, it's going to sound the alarms. I should also note, from the... Um, I want to say dozen odd runs I've done so far. No part of these vaults is RNG. Except for the sensor regulators in the pipe vault. Their level, and whether or not they're standard or eximus regulators, appears to be random. But the actual layout of all these vaults? Static. Crack that. Lots of lanks. They just kind of swim around and bite dudes. Deals really annoying slash damage. The hidden thing about energy shell that I've got here is that it actually buffs your crit damage for little to no apparent reason. Very potent though. Really nice against beefy dudes like the Jordas Golem. Yeah. Nice. Just that little tick closer to being done with this place forever. Now we get to my least favorite vault, because of how misleading it is. You need to walk in, kill this person, ignore anything that happens over there, that is meaningless. Go down these stairs, you'll see a guard here, kill them. There's a door over here, this is all a red herring, those trigger the alarm. That great? Also or just about meaningless. You need to go through here. 
You'll notice that that fan isn't moving compared to that fan, which is. It's also glowing. Shoot it out. Move through the area. Shoot out the next fan. That is also meaningless. It goes to a room with some bonus loot. I'll show it off. See? Just loot. Shoot out some more fans. And you can see from the cables here that up there is the vault. So we go through here, throw up a blind so that they can't sound the alarm, because there are always two guards in here. So we kill them both. Was that a third guard I heard? No, that was just the machinery, okay. So, that's that. Triple undetected on Uranus. Be nice if I got a Cephalon fragment, but oh well. <coughs> you can get some really good loot here too, like Ivara's Neuroptics and Blueprint. That's good stuff. So once we return to my... Yes! On that, comrade, is that. Bye!